Last two years have seen record low levels of water along the Mississippi River here in Memphis. Meteorologist Corey Smith tells us why this summer is looking a bit different to start things off. Over the last couple of days, you've probably seen images and videos of flooding out in the Midwest. This water will eventually work its way towards the Mid-South and we will see some impacts. Now, thankfully, no flooding is expected. You can see on the map right beside me, all these green dots means no flooding here across the Mississippi River as you get towards Memphis and the rest of the Mid-South. But if you take a look up towards the north, you can see what's going on. These oranges, these reds, these purples showing moderate and even major flooding in the upper Mississippi as well as the Missouri River. This is important because this is what feeds into the Mississippi River, the lower Mississippi River, which is what moves through Memphis and the Mid-South. So we're going to see our water levels rise in the next couple of weeks. And this is actually some great news and it's changing a trend that we've seen the last couple of years here in Memphis. If we take a look at water levels uh, from June 15th through the beginning of July, the last two years, we reached a negative river stage. So that means uh, below that arbitrary line that is set for where we see low water, which starts at five feet. Well, some great news. Look at this, the trend going up to around 11 feet as you get towards the middle of July. So hopefully that can push off that low water we've been seeing the last couple of years here, especially along the Mississippi River. But I will say we're going to see some average rainfall the next couple of weeks, but that trend looks to change towards more of a drier pattern as you get towards the middle of July. So we'll keep an eye on that Mississippi water level as you get towards the middle of summer here, but at least looking a little bit better than the last couple of years. From the studio, I'm ABC 24 meteorologist Corey Smith.